when shooting some special scenes, we need to use the light to illustrate the silhouette of the people to create a cyberpunk mood. But the result might come out less satisfied sometimes due to various reasons while shooting. Well, the good news is that we can actually get that fixed using some editing tips in the post-production. Thus, if you wish to know more about these tips, then keep watching the video. Before we start, we need to first analyze the image. For example, the effect in this clip, when shooting, we need to put different color lights on the left and right side behind the person. Put on some blue and pearly lights. This will give the outline of the characters a color light and add a technology sense to the video. This technique can also be used while displaying the products. But when filming, you might also run into such an issue that the light on set is too bright, which leads to a relatively low contrast and weakens the rimming light. Thus, in this case, we need to enhance the blue and the pony light on both sides and maintain the dark shadow part and the dark blue light in the character's face. Now, let's open Video Pop Logger. Import the materials. Put it into the video track first. and then place it on the overlay track as well. Resize it to match your first clip. Well, of course, you can also use these two bottoms to zoom in and out in one click. Next, select the clip on the overlay track. Click on color to enter the color editor. First, we adjust the exposure, contrast, saturation, and other parameters to make the contrast between the blue and the purple color more distinct. Then we go to HSO panel. We fine to the two colors to make them more vivid. Next, we need to find a way to remove the dark blue part of the picture. Here we have two ways to do it. For the first method, we find the HSL interface. Select the dark blue. Then, we adjust the saturation and luminance to remove this color. While for the second method, we click on Apply to return to the main interface. Find a chroma key in inspector on the right. First, click on this box. After the color ring pops up, click on the store here to absorb the dark blue color in the screen. Then, adjust the tolerance and smoothness to remove the dark blue from the picture completely. Finally, if the sharpness of the image is too high and make the edges of the image appear jagged, you can use image blurring and smoothing. Adjust the three parameters below to revive value to make the image look softer. Like this. Then, let's adjust the blending mode. What I'm using here is a screen, but you can also try a few more modes to find one that works best for you. Finally, you can also adjust the opacity to make the two images blend better. Well, this is all for today's video, and I'm sure you've learned the trick to put it up in your own video creation. If you want to know more about other editing tricks or what has been going on with VideoPub Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. 
and we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoying this one. Bye bye.